Hi guys. Hi teacher. How are you tonight? Hi. Very well, thank you. And you? Doing great, thank you. Thanks for asking. Welcome guys. It's nice seeing you as always. Thank you very much for joining me. Do I always say the same lines? Maybe, right? <laughs> okay, are you ready for tonight's class? Ready, yeah. ready, ready. More than ready. More than ready. Very good. I was born ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to study uh, first position now tonight, okay? Let me see if everybody's here. Welcome. The ones who are just joining us, okay? So, um, I want you to watch a video, okay? This is going to help you understand it. We'll be talking about cause and effect, okay? Pay attention, guys. Pay attention to this video. Don't, don't take notes. Just pay attention. On the next video, I want you to take notes, all right? So let's watch. Here we go. Okay, finished. No, sorry. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls back down. If you pour water onto a fire, it gets put out. These are sentences that are called conditional sentences. These particular sentences are zero conditionals. Let's look at another type of conditional sentence. First conditionals. First conditionals are used to explain about conditions that have a real possibility of happening in the future. It's not 100% sure, but there is a big chance that it will happen. Let's look at an example. If I study hard, I'll pass the test. Is there a chance for me to pass the test if I study hard? Yes. Can this happen? Yes. Does it mean my passing is 100% guaranteed? No. But the test is a very likely thing that can happen. And that is a first conditional sentence. It has the structure of if plus present tense clause will present tense clause. Now for another example. So, you just woke up, and looking outside the window, you see grey clouds. You say to yourself, if it rains, I'll go back to sleep. Or, you can also say, I will go back to sleep if it rains. Is this situation possible? Yes. Will this situation happen 100%? No. So, that's pretty much what a first conditional is. It's to talk about things that have a high chance of happening. Now, you try and make a first conditional sentence in the comment section below, and we'll see if you're correct. it's clear now let's see the video in the platform and this time please take notes especially the, the structure I want you to notice the structure take notes on it because we're gonna practice right away so it's very important to get that listen up hi we're about to study conditional sentences a conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence pay attention to the audio program for more explanation Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. 
The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your comments. Okay. Um, let's see. So, well, basically, same examples. All right. So, we're talking about cause and effect, right? In this particular case, since it's something that you do right now that has an effect in the future, it's a uh, a realistic one it's not hypothetical it's not imaginary it's a realistic thing that if you do something right now it will have a consequence in the future right so when you want to express that you have to use the sense now we're using present simple and we're using uh, future with will okay and last night we saw we also saw that instead of will if you're not sure you can say what else guys with m right might exactly or you can also use may which is the same okay might and may is basically the same. yeah it's the same we're basically the same so you can use this now you're gonna use present simple for the cause or for the effect guys if i go to my bedroom uh-huh so present simple in effect future i will that's the structure, okay? Now, the structure is, well, that's it, okay? But if, you always have to use if plus present. You cannot use if plus will. That's not possible, all right? You can change the order, but you cannot use if with the future tense. For example, I can say if I, if I um, study if I learn English, what's going to happen if you learn English, guys? What's the effect in the future? I will get a better job. I will get a better job, which is right, okay? Now, if you notice, if and the cause, if and present is always together, right? And the effect is in the future. So you cannot use if I will get a better job. That's not possible. Never forget this never say if I will that's not possible now what I can do is I can change the order all right cause and effect effect and cause it doesn't matter I can say I will get a better job if I learn English okay but with no comma that's the only difference okay so you can change the order but you can never use if and will is that clear yeah. okay now some more examples if if you go to bed late tonight, what will be the effect tomorrow, guys? You will get up late tomorrow. Uh -huh, okay, if I go to bed late <clears throat> tonight, I will wake up late tomorrow. Okay. Very good. What other effect could you have? Okay, if if you learn English, what other effect could you have in the future? Mm -hmm. I will get. Uh, I will wake up late tomorrow. 
Oh, well, that's the, I will wake up late tomorrow. Okay, maybe I will be sleepy tomorrow if I go to bed late, right? Okay, you. this is not limited to I, 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 you can use any subject, all right? So that's why I used to see the example above and it said if Salvadorians, because this is plural, right? It's they, if Salvadorians have massive parties, meaning with a lot of people, what will be the effect? In the immediate future, guys, or in the long term, they will. They will get sick. infected. They will get infected. They will be infected by COVID. Uh huh. Exactly. So, this is applicable for any subject. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, let's do an exercise. The one on the platform, and then you're gonna practice speaking. Okay. Let's do this one first. Do you have any questions? No. No? Great. Okay, the I chose the, the wrong answers. Sorry? The rest of the conditionals, we are going, probably we are going, so we are going to study the rest of the conditionals in maybe later. Yeah, progressively in the future, you're, you're going to study that because you have zero, first, second, and third conditional. This is the first one. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, let's complete the sentence. We have the cause. I need the effect. Okay, David, number one. Number one, if you eat less junk food, and the answer is you may lose weight. Wait. 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 You may lose weight, yes. This is one O, by the way, guys, loose. Okay, because loose double O is flojo, okay? Loose with one O is perder, so only one. Okay. <laughs> All right, number two, Vanessa. If you walk to work every day, mm -hmm. uh, you might feel healthier. Yes, don't pronounce this L, guys. If you walk, if you walk, you walk, if you walk to work, you might uh, lose. What, what's the answer? Sorry. You might feel healthy, healthier. Yes, I think you can say you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna try that. Okay, next one, um, Olga. If you don't get no sleep, yeah. what is it? If you don't get enough sleep, yeah. you you won't be able to stay and make in class. Awake. You won't be able to stay awake in class. Awake in class. Yes, very good. Next one, Alain. If you exercise, you will stay in shape without joining a gym. Okay, very good. Next one, Gerardo. If you don't get married, uh, you'll have more money to spend yourself. On yourself. Is that true, guys? Yes, it is. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't have sure. happy. It's not correct. <laughs> oh, you don't have happiness? Oh, no, that's so sad. <laughs> no way. Okay, yeah, there is one that is incorrect. This one, if you exercise. Yes, you might feel healthy. Yes, you have might to switch feel the healthier. Answer. And number two is you'll stay in shape. I told you because it's a gym, right? So it's like, oh, walk to work. Okay. Let's see if that works. And yes. All right. That's the one. Very good. This was an easy exercise, but I'm going to send you a more difficult one right now. Um, I want you to practice speaking, but I want this to be 100% understood. So let me send you a link. All right, I want you to work in, in pairs or in small groups, okay? Um, 
and do the exercises. Do them as many as you can before time is up, all right? I'll send you the link. You have to open the link. If you can, please, one person share screen so that you can see what you're, look at what you're doing. All right, accept the invitation, please. Check the link. I will send it through WhatsApp. Send the link yeah, I, I uh, to the WhatsApp. Okay, uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I think we got to talk about. I sent the all link. The do the do the exercise. I sent the link on WhatsApp. Uh, what's up? Which is the exercise? Because I'm just ah, oh, don't worry. Yeah, click here for an exercise. From the exercise, uh -huh. what? What is the first one? But I guess we have to read the. Hmm? Hold on, let me see this. Yeah, hmm. this is not taking you to. I'm making the first position. Hold on, I'm gonna send you a new link. Okay. Like, go down. It says. Uh, this is the exercise, but I will send it here. Okay, I sent a new link. Open that link. Did you get it? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's the one. The exercise. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do those. Hey, so I, I got it. I sent okay. a new link. Okay, so the first uh, would be if I go out tonight, uh, I will go to the cinema. I sent you a new link with the exercise. Did you see that? Yeah. Yes. Great, great. You got it. Let's do that. Take turns. Yeah. Number one, Javier, Carlos, Sonia, number three. Okay, let's take turns. Okay. Repeat number one, Carlos. Ver Klaus. Yeah. If. Oh, sorry, I sent a new link. With the exercise. The oh. second one. Yeah, the second link. Yes, oh. yes, yes. The one with the exercise. Yes. Ah. Yeah, check again. Mm, no, that's, uh, yeah, okay, go down. Let me see. Yes, that's the one. Very good. Yes. Okay. Next week. Each other next week. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, yes. Do not, maybe. I guess it's the. the... Mm -hmm. Yes, if we do not see. The other next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If oh, it's we in... not see each other tomorrow. If we improve, the weather doesn't there. improve. If the weather is not improve, we will. It's not. Let's try with. We it's won't. Not. No. What's we won't. For? We won't. What's the negative auxiliary for the present simple? Don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't. 
right? Yeah, that's so it. if the if the wet yeah. weather doesn't if the weather doesn't improve, improve we right? won't have a picnic. Yes. Yes. If the weather, if, if, if the, the weather, weather do not improve, I guess it doesn't. If it does not, or does not, uh -huh. the weather does, does not. I don't understand what, uh, why is and does. Because it's the first ah. with third person or, with third or things. things. Uh -huh. Does. Yes. Yes. Yeah, does. does not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We, we not. want, I guess. We want have. We a... want one. No, one. With O. Yes. Excuse me. W O W N T. Uh -huh. Yes. N T. T. One. No. No. T. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Spell me, please. No, it's w. okay. It's w okay. O N T and the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. But the, the apostrophe, I don't know how to say. No, it's it, without apostrophe. I guess without. it's with, with the apostrophe. I, I check the answer in okay. my computer is without, huh? but I guess that this is incorrect. The apostrophe is the other. I think it's in the the, the interrogation sign. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Don't take the It's the one I can put here. Let put me. Yes. This? Ah yes, this is <laughs> this is and have no have ah okay have ah. and the first is improve do, doesn't with with uh -huh. if weather does does not improve yes get late. Don't, uh, don't see. Not see. The, the, the word out. Only go. Yes, only go. Oh. Let me check. Okay, it's good right now. Yeah. Because we are already writing out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, number two. If you get back late, I if, this, if if you get get back late, I will be angry. Okay. Yes. I will be angry. No. I have but the future. Right. Will be. No, you have to put mm -hmm. will be. Oh, will be. Yes. I I looking for the number three and say if we don't see early if, if you will one I comes no oh. <laughs> Mm, com, comes. Yes. No, if re you remember present with if, you need if with present and then will. So this has to be will. Ah, yes, teacher. If, never come. use if with will. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. I will come. Mm, and never it. use if with will, never. Will be if they be they 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 will be they, no no if they zero conditional and third conditional oh I think that in the way is not so easy 
Yeah, I mean, because when when you use, if I would have guys, blah, 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 get back, get back to the ah, yeah. Alrighty, you practiced? Was it hard, difficult? I mean, was it difficult, easier, or medium, like intermediate? I think easier. It was easy? Easy. Was easy. Yeah. Okay, just, just don't forget, never use will with if, never. Okay, don't make that mistake, please. But yes, I think that that makes the topic clear, I hope. And if not, after class, continue practicing with the link because there are 20 exercises and I think nobody finished. So after class, you can continue practicing, okay? But what, okay. I, what you have to do is write down the structure and then practice. You kind of have to memorize the structure, okay? Don't worry, we have zero conditional, first, second, third. Don't worry about the other conditionals right now, only first conditional, okay? Don't worry right okay. now, because you're gonna study those later. Anyway, um, we're gonna practice right now. Uh, this time, you're going to use the first conditional to speak. Now that it's clear or kind of clear, um, let's do the speaking part. I'm going to send you two images for you to discuss with new people. Let me see. Here it is. Okay. I sent them. They're the yellow ones. They're two pictures. So try to discuss as many as you can. Okay. And pay attention to your classmate's structure. Make sure that they're using the right structure. Okay, correct them if they make mistakes, please, because I cannot be with everyone at the same time. So please make sure everybody is um, uh, using the structure correctly. Hold on. Three, three to four. All right, accept the invitation, guys. Let's, uh, let's practice speaking. Go ahead. Hi, Jose. Hi, Andrea. Hi. I'm fine. Hi. And you? Let's see. Fine, thanks. <laughs> Did you finish the exercise? Uh, yeah. The last? Hi, Gabriel. How are you? Fine, you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Okay. Who want to start? Um, what will you do if you miss your family and friends? In my case, for example, if I miss my family and friends, I will to, to visit them. In my case, if I, if I meet my family and friends, I will call, call them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Hello? Hello? The feels or how, how they are? And that's only the common reaction for me. I will, I will be sad too. Sad. Yes, it's very hard to to yeah. to lose some of your family. Yeah. Okay. In this, the next in, question. In this context, miss means extrañar, not not lose. Okay. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm like, this is a okay. depressing conversation. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. If I miss my family and friends, probably I will too. Bueno. Okay. 
What will you do if you have problems with the English? I will practice more. And I will with the time. Yes, and I will look look new work. You will look for new words. Try to speak a little louder, Dorothy, please. Thank you. What? Try to speak louder, louder. Uh, yeah, thank you. I won't spend a money to have enough to travel. Okay. Arturo? My answer is, if I want to move back, I think I will to talk with my, my parents. And we'll talk to my parents? What? I will talk oh, to teacher. my parents. Hi, hi. <laughs> I, I made. You are so inspired. I, <laughs> Go ahead with the answer again. I, I want to hear. Okay. The, the the question in the first the from the first picture. Uh -huh. What will you do if you want to move back to your home country? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If I want to back, I think I made to talk with my parents and and get back <laughs> yeah um but that question is not realistic right now so don't discuss it because we're not talking about hypothetical situations all right in my case yes. for example it's realistic to say hey teacher what would you, what will you do if you want to go back to el salvador because it's a realistic situation but not in your case because you're in el salvador right <laughs> so if it's if it's not realistic, don't discuss it because I don't want you to get confused. Please, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Because for for a non-realistic situation, we have to use a different uh, conditional. You have to use second conditional. Oh, okay. Yeah. If if. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Yes, that's why. Are oh, you doing good? If uh, it can be okay. 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 Thank yeah. you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Sonia, what will you do if you run out of money? Run out of money. Run out of money. Run out of es que se le acabe. What, yeah. what will you do if you run out of money? <laughs> Without money, right? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. If uh if I run out of money, I will I will how do you say pedir? <laughs> ask 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 help for my family. I I will ask my family for help. I will ask ask my family my family for help. For help. Yes, very good. Uh, ice. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, if I can stand the heat, I will remove my my t-shirt or I will uh, go out to the <laughs> backyard. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Sometimes I prefer to 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 take a shower, kind of. Oh ah, yeah, take a shower. Yeah. Yes, take a shower. Yeah, that's a yes, good option. Yes, that's cool. And also, you can drink. You can drink something icy, icy cold, right? Yes. And that helps you too. It regulates your temperature, your body temperature. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. We match eleven. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the bribe. <laughs> I think this is a nice business because the people waiting uh, shares with a michelada or a, a cool beer. I right. think it will be a nice business. 
Okay. What will you do if you feel lonely, Anna? What will? What will you do? We are not in that situation right now. No. We are in or okay, we are in or home time. country. <laughs> yeah. Yes, excellent. Okay, the situation is not realistic, so don't discuss it. <laughs> yep. Okay. You know why? Because for imaginary situations, you have to use second conditional, not first conditional. So don't discuss it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good, good. Hmm. <laughs> Another uh, question. Um, number five. The what, what you, will you do? Uh, always I find uh, something that I can I can do. For example, for example, I pharmacy and buy a uh, big vaporub. <laughs> <laughs> the the first remedy of my grandmother. I will make an appointment with the I will stay in my in my bed for all day. <laughs> and why don't you okay. feel better? Mm. That's yeah, example. and 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 think I will be better. I will be better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, number six. Okay. What will you do if you run out of money? What would you do? Hmm, 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 hmm. What is wrong on? Um? Without money. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. You run out of money. I will look for a job or I will look I will um, search uh, to to sell something. I will borrow. 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 <laughs> yeah. In my case, I will think about. Um, what is the best way for to have money? Maybe as, <laughs> as a friend for money. Um, <laughs> maybe. I don't have money. I don't have money. Sorry, okay. sorry, uh, sorry, Jose. <laughs> okay. okay. And number seven. What would you do if you get bored? Okay. So what would if you someone do? from you is someone from I do the English lesson, I will send a message. Okay. Yes, it's okay. So Danny, what will you do if you don't enjoy life in the UK? Why? <laughs> that, that question is not applicable. Yeah. <laughs> if, it's unrealistic. Uh, if I don't enjoy life in the UK, I will go to the other country. Hello, teacher. Hi again. Oh. Hi again. <laughs> you practiced? How yeah. Was, yeah, was it? Peter. Um, yeah, I talked. I told some people if it's unrealistic, don't discuss it because they, these have to be realistic situations, right? For unrealistic situations, you have to use the second conditional, which you're gonna study later. So it, it can only be a realistic situation. Now, um. We're gonna continue working on the platform with an interesting reading, okay? And I wanna hear some of you tell me the difference. 
Uh, can you read the objective, please, Patricia? In this class, you will read an art artic article about article. Fall um, falling in love. As you read, you develop an skills in reading for a specific information. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the question um, that I want to ask you. Hold on, let me see. Here it is. And anybody can participate. I know I promised you I was going to teach you the pronunciation of the past because the majority were making mistakes with it, but we won't have time. So I will try to teach you that next week. Okay. Meanwhile, you can watch the video, right? Or wait, let's wait for next week because we have to do this tonight. So what is the difference? Think about it and tell me right now, okay, what is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? What is the difference? Probably if you have a crush. The crush is impossible. No, I think it's not impossible. I think it's impossible, it's impossible no? but sometimes a crush uh, doesn't it's, know it's that more you... physical. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, it's not necessarily impossible. Uh -huh. The crush doesn't know it's only physical. Hey, what's the what's the definition of crush anyway? Let me see. I'm interested now. Let me see. Wish. What is the definition? Cr so crush is impossible, love or no? Not necessarily. No, no not no. necessarily. Not necessarily impossible. No. no. Yeah. no. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah is, uh, there is something. Hold on. A, a real crush. Yeah, yeah, like that <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. We're not gonna start a debate right now. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can what have the debate. Pay attention, guys. Whenever you do the discussion, you can have a debate and say, "No, it's not. I think it's impossible." Well, but wait, give me one second. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, a crush, somebody you like a lot. Okay, you like a lot. Uh, why is it? What does? What the is the meaning of crush of in love? For feeling of okay. love or admiration for it's someone, you know, you cannot. Sometimes it is impossible. Sometimes you cannot have a relationship with the person. Yeah, sometimes I think the person doesn't know that you have a crush on them. Well, you can debate that later. Anyway, <laughs> I, will, I will be there to listen to some of you. So first, the first thing I want you to do is discuss the question. And when you finish, you can read the article, one paragraph per person, and then discuss the information in the paragraph, okay? So let's go to section 4.13 and you will find the reading there. I'll also send you a picture just in case, but you really have to be using the platform right now. Okay, let's talk to different people right now. Let me make groups, give me one second. Any questions? No, teacher, no question. No, okay. So accept the invitation, let's do this. First discuss, don't forget. Jose. Hi, Hi how are you guys? What? How are you, English Corporativo? <laughs> Good. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> That's not my name, though. Okay, so let's discuss. What is the difference? I sent you the article. When you finish discussing, read the article. Okay. Go work. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes, maybe that yes, you know my crush. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's at level five. I <laughs> know. <laughs> because yeah, uh, an impossible. Maybe some artists on. Yeah. 
that a cross, a possible cross could be a... Bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, I friend begin, you interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner. Person, but this has happened before and before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if tell if it's real this time? Hear what our reader said. Okay. If you are falling in love, you will find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might present there there's reason but often there is not. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins, you interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might say this person, when you feel, feel feeling low, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now, you can be totally, totally honest. You can trust him or her. Hello, can you, are you in? Do we miss any? Any other? You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you? <laughs> I don't know. You. Okay. Did you finish reading? Oh, we need more yeah. time. Yes. <laughs> yes. We need more yeah. time. Some people finished already. That's why I closed it. Um, what's better, falling in love or staying in love? Just give me the answer. Don't tell me why, okay? Just what's better, falling in love? Raise your hand. Staying in love. Falling in love is better? Really? Okay, staying in love. Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, some people are like, no love at all, please. <laughs> don't talk about that. Or I don't know what the problem is. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, well, we have finished, guys. I'm going to take a picture, okay? So that we know I didn't send the pictures or I haven't sent the pictures all week long, but I will try to do it sometime tonight or tomorrow, okay? So say cheese. Wait. So I have to take a second picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where should I go? That worked. Another picture, please. <laughs> Say cheese. There it is. You have any questions? No existential <laughs> questions, maybe. No. <laughs> no picture. No picture. All right. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure seeing you. I uh, please finish section four this week. All right, finish it all because next week we're gonna work on section five, and I think that's it. Tomorrow we have no classes. Or, or are you gonna cry? No classes. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Bye bye. 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 B